If you daydream about going to sleep with giraffes outside your window, but can't quite swing the $900 per person per night price tag at Giraffe Manor in Nairobi, this is the video for you. In Diani Beach, Kenya, we found a place where dreams of hand feeding giraffes from a swing or a seesaw can be a reality, even for those of us on a budget. Allow us to introduce ourselves. We are going, going, back, back. I'm from Australia. And I am from the USA. When we set out on this journey, our three kids were all under five, and we thought we'd travel until it was time for our eldest to start school. We soon realized that our children's education had already begun, with the world as their classroom. We put thoughts of a forever home on hold and became a full-time traveling family. Join us as we travel the world, going, going, back, back. Bora Bora Wildlife Park, where dreams of hand-feeding giraffes come true, is situated at the southern end of Kenya's beautiful Diani Beach. The tuk-tuk ride from where we were staying at the northern end of Diani took about half an hour. Though more bumpy than taking a car, tuk-tuk rides in Kenya are more affordable and add to the sense of adventure. The first thing our kids spotted when we arrived at the park was the playground. It was only after they were settled on the swings that they noticed the giraffe keeping watch. The glamping style tents are arrayed around a shallow man-made lake. The water attracts some beautiful birds and the tents all have outdoor seating areas to take in the view. The building you see in the distance is the restaurant, which was closed when we visited but has since reopened. The tents themselves are spacious and have full private bathrooms. It's not a stone manor, but it's definitely more glamping than camping. The wildlife park prides itself on its eco-friendly features, including a water recycling plant, solar lighting and solar hot water. As any parent can tell you, the only thing kids like better than a playground is snack time. We sat on one of the park's benches under a big shade tree, and before too long, our guide brought Bosco the giraffe to join us for his own snack. Giraffes are my favorite animal, and being up close to one like this was a dream come true. We all had a chance to hand feed this gentle giant, even our two year old. While the highlight of the park is without question hand feeding the giraffes, we also really enjoyed the guided walk along the park's nature trail. Our guide was really knowledgeable and was able to point out different plants and uh, where different animals might be hiding. In this section of the park, zebra roam, and we were treated to an impromptu game of follow the zebra. Giraffes and zebra aren't the only four-legged residents of Bora Bora Wildlife Park. You'll also find crocodiles and tortoises, and if you follow the nature trail far enough, wild buffalo.
The park welcomes guests for the day or for the night. As of July 2022, glamping tents with full private bathrooms are $85 per night for a double and children under seven can share their parents' tent for free. For a day trip, entry fees vary. If you're a Kenyan citizen, you'll pay 750 Kenyan shillings for adults and 250 for children. If you're a Kenyan resident, it's 1,000 Kenyan shillings for adults and 500 for children. And if you're a foreign tourist, you'll pay 22 US dollars for adults and 10 US dollars for kids. Our trip to Bora Bora Wildlife Park ended where it began, back in the playground with the resident giraffes looking on as our kids played. And when we asked to feed Bosco one more time, our guide happily obliged. If you make it to Bora Bora Wildlife Park in Diani Beach, Kenya, be sure to tell our friend Bosco the Giraffe hello from us. And if you'd like to follow along in our journey as a full-time traveling family of five, hit subscribe and find us on Instagram, going, going, back, back. Yeah.